Before we get started here, I just want to give you a heads up. YouTube video compression isn't that great, so if you're viewing this, make sure you're viewing it on a pretty decent screen. This is uploaded in 4K, so that's going to get my point across more than anything else, but I know it's not going to be as good as what I'm seeing on my main screen. But I hope at least this gets my point across. What's going on guys? The CTA Prime back here again. Today I want to check out the new AI upscaling baked into the new Nvidia Shield Android TVs. Now this works with the lower end Shield TV model and the Shield TV Pro. The one I have here is the lower end model. $150. Got that Tegra X1 Plus CPU. 2 gigabytes of RAM and 8 gigabytes of internal storage. Now this AI scaling works on both and I wanted to use the lower end version just to show you that it is working here. Keep in mind that this AI upscaling only works with certain apps right now. YouTube, Netflix, Hulu, and I believe it does with HBO, but hopefully this will be brought to the whole system later on down the road. From within the settings, we can go to AI upscaling. As you can see, I have it set to AI enhanced, detail enhancement high, and I've also enabled the demo mode. So I'll back up and we'll just check out some YouTube. Now this really can't turn a 480p or a 720p into a real 4K video, but it does an amazing job here. We're going to go with Big Buck Bunny. This was uploaded 11 years ago. This is a Blender demo. We'll go to More, and I'm going to set it to 720p. So we're set to 720p. I'm going to restart this. Actually, we'll just go right about here. I'm going to pause the video, and now I'm going to set it to demo mode. So I can move this cursor around just to give you an idea of how well this works. This is with AI enhancement off. This is with AI enhancement on. Now hopefully it's coming across as good as it looks on my screen in this YouTube video. But I'm going to kind of circle a spot here and I just want you to take a look. So this is on. This is off. On. Off. It really brings the detail out. I mean, it's it's crazy. It's amazing how they made this work. So this is basic, enhanced. Basic, enhanced. And I'm going to set it to double screen mode. And we'll play here. We'll get to another spot and then I'll do it one more time. I just think this is absolutely amazing that they were able to pull this off with this ARM chip. I'm not sure what kind of voodoo they got going here, but it works amazingly. So this is with the AI enhancement off. This is basic. This is on. So we'll just check out, let's say, this butterfly over here. So this is off. This is on. I really do hope they bring this to more apps because it's pretty awesome to see it work like this. Right, that eyeball? Here's one more little section I wanted to show you. Over on the right hand side we have this little squirrel guy, or mole guy, whatever. But it really does bring that detail out. Now this video was uploaded 11 years ago at 720p. Since then there are definitely 4K videos of this up on YouTube that look amazing. Brings out his whiskers, his eyes, the hair on him. So here's something a little trickier. It's definitely not as pronounced as the last one we just took a look at, but this is Night of the Living Dead. This is uploaded on YouTube. It's a public domain movie. I have AI off right now, but when I turn it on, it actually sharpens it up quite well. If we take a look at her hair and her face, I'm just blown away by how well this works. So that was just a quick look at AI upscaling on the new NVIDIA Shield Android TV. 
really excited about this. And like I mentioned, I really do hope it comes to a lot of other video apps. It'd be really cool to see it in, let's say, Plex, VLC, and other video playing apps instead of just streaming services. So that's it for this video, guys. I really appreciate you watching. If you're interested in picking one of these up, I will leave links in the description. Definitely keep an eye out on the channel because I got a lot more coming on these. But like always, thanks for watching.